Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking you through my top 10 tips for planning a hen party. Because um, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there now that are on the internet and looking at sort of ways of planning hen parties sort of when all this is over. So if you don't know already, I'm Nikki Conroy. I like to dedicate every video to a friend, family member, and this video is dedicated to Charlotte. Um, because she is one of my best friends and she is one of the first 10 parties that I had to plan so yeah uh, if you've not already subscribe down below to my channel and I'm gonna talk you through all the ways um, that I think help with a hen party so the first way and um, the guest list find out off the bride who she wants there, whether it's does she want a mum there, does she want a gran there, does she want a sister-in-law there, find out who she really wants there and kind of that is the best way to, the first way to start, find out who she wants there. It just makes it easier as well when sort of planning activities, you can see whether they're age appropriate, etc. Number two, start a group WhatsApp. So as soon as you have invited all those people, start a group WhatsApp as you will hear later down in the video I used it so much with the two that I planned um, and they really really do help and help get the information out there to everyone rather than having sort of loads of different people individually messaging you also it builds up excitement uh, sort of running up to the event during the event and for you to all keep in contact and after the event when you're all sharing pictures so second thing start a group whatsapp third thing decide on the location this bit is the most exciting bit for me so think about the bride think about where she would like to go do, would she want to go abroad or would she just want to do things in something in the uk i mean i know i've got friends who would love to do theirs abroad and then i've got some who would definitely like to do them in the uk so everyone's different so and I mean, I think generally, if you're planning it for the bride, you, you you know what she likes. So, location, location, location. Budget. Set a budget. So, this one's quite difficult. Obviously, everyone has different budgets. So, what I did personally was got quotes on all the different activities, packaged a few different things together, and then just ask people. Just be blunt. Give people a figure and see if that works for everyone. You're not always going to please everyone, especially in big groups. So the budget, I mean, before you start planning anything, you need to know if people are gonna be able to pay you and be able to sort of afford to do it. So especially at this time, I mean, it's a bit of a tricky one, but the budget, you need to know what you have to work with. So like I said, get a package together and send out a price keep it reasonable you know and yeah just go from there take things off change a few things maybe look at i mean it's always best if you always travel together so have a bit of a route have some sort of plan for the day the evening the few days sort of what i did was for each day because ours were three days for both of them were plan out what you're gonna do sort of for a few hours each day and obviously it just makes it a lot easier rather than you having to think about it while you're there have it all written down have it sort of in a spreadsheet format especially if there's a lot of people going to maneuver and to actually get that amount of people out of somewhere into somewhere away from somewhere to somewhere really really is challenging and at least if you have it written down you know what you're doing what when you're going to be doing it and it really does just make life a lot easier number six downtime do rotor in that downtime it is needed especially if it's a, a few days event it's it's tiring it's draining yes it's fun and yes it's amazing being with so many people and having a great time but you do need that downtime i'm saying especially if you've got elderly people i'm 28 and i needed downtime um so yeah rotor in that downtime it, it people will appreciate it 
if you're in a villa, you're gonna need time around the pools, things like that, just, just factor it all in. Or you can just be a hardcore party goer and don't factor in any downtime. It's just, I'm just saying what worked for me and from my experience of two big hen parties, what people needed. Bridal props, take a few props. You don't have to spend fortunes. Send everyone a message on the group chat. Get everyone to bring something, whether that be a, bo a bottle of alcohol, whether that be some straws, whether that be anything, just factor in um, that you are going to need props and don't leave it all down to yourself bringing them. It is more fun when everyone contributes. So that includes things like games, party games, just go on the internet, there's thousands of things you can bring. You can home make them. I think the funniest one we did was where you just wrote a list of questions for the bride and their partner and got their partner to answer before you go on the trip and then ask the bride the questions on the day and see how they tie in and sometimes it's embarrassing, sometimes it's funny, um, but yeah, just games. Make a list of what you're packing and send it out on that group WhatsApp because guaranteed I had every single person coming on the trip messaging me, what are you taking, are you packing this, are you packing that, what are you bringing in your handbag, what are you bringing to go out, what are you bringing to wear here, where there, create a list of what you're going to put in your suitcase and send it out to the group. Nine, reviews, check reviews before you go to places. I know that we went on a gin tasting, my sister will kill me for this, but it was not fun to say the least. And yeah, just check reviews of things. Chibi. And the last thing that I did was send out an itinerary. So sort of a week, two weeks before, put together a little itinerary. Um, these are the ones that I did. So just have a look at those just a rough idea, a rough guide of everything that you're doing throughout the day, night, evening, afternoon, sort of even if you are just going out for the evening there may be two or three things people like to know, it's just like, it's just nice for people to know and to know what they're doing so send a little itinerary, it gets everyone a bit excited and yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video and um, in my next two videos I'm going to be actually going through in depth um, planning the hen party in Milan. I did a hen party to Milan and then one in Marrakesh which was in Morocco so if you want to see those next two videos uh, please subscribe to my channel and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.